Google just announced some huge AI updates at Google I.O. 2025, and I don't say this lightly. This was Google's most ambitious AI rollout ever. We're talking about Notebook LM going full research assistant, the launch of VO3 for AI-generated video with actual audio, and the all-new AI mode in search that's about to change how people find information online. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you've been wondering how Google plans to stay ahead in the AI arms race, this is your answer. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you wanna know my favorite AI tools and prompts, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for my free guide in the video description or pinned comment below. Let's cut through the noise and break down what really matters from these announcements, what's hype, what's legit, and how these updates will actually impact the way we work, create, and run businesses. Gemini 2.5 updates. First off, we've got to talk about Gemini 2.5. Google's latest model isn't just faster or cheaper, it's smarter in ways that are finally useful. ELO scores, which are kind of like IQ tests for AI, jumped over 300 points since the first version of Gemini Pro. That's not just progress, that's a leap. Gemini 2.5 Pro now includes something called DeepThink. It's an enhanced reasoning mode designed to handle more complex, multi-step thinking. Think of it as having a research assistant who doesn't just answer your questions, but thinks ahead, asks follow-up questions, and connects the dots for you. I've tested the preview version inside AI Studio, and it's solving code problems and generating content summaries with near-human context awareness. Like, it's wild. And for developers or power users, the 2.5 Flash model is like a speed demon. Great for real-time interactions and long context queries while keeping costs down. AI mode in Google search. Next up, let's talk about search. Google just introduced AI mode, which turns the classic search bar into something way smarter. You're not just getting 10 blue links anymore. You can ask nuanced, multi-step queries like plan me a three-day road trip in Oregon with waterfall hikes and dog-friendly cabins. And AI mode will deliver an end-to-end -end response complete with links, recommendations, and even booking options. What makes this different is context. AI mode remembers what you've searched for, what emails you've written, and what docs you've uploaded if you give it permission. That means results are no longer generic. They're yours. This is powered by what Google calls personal context, and it's now rolling out to users in the US. If you've used Perplexity or Arc's browser assistant, this is that, but deeply integrated with Google's ecosystem. Project Mariner becomes agent mode. Now let's shift to agent mode. This is where AI really starts doing work for you. Project Mariner is now integrated into the Gemini app and it acts like a digital assistant that doesn't just suggest things, it takes action. Need to find an apartment for you and two roommates under a shared budget? Agent Mode can browse Zillow, apply filters, and even schedule tours. What stood out to me is the teach and repeat method. You show it how to do a task once, and it remembers how to do similar tasks in the future. For entrepreneurs and marketers, this is going to change how we handle recurring tasks like email outreach, calendar booking, or even competitive research, Veo, Trez, and Flow. Now let's talk content creation. Google dropped VO3, and this is huge. Not only can it generate hyper-realistic video clips, it now includes native audio generation. That means you type a prompt and the AI generates not just the visuals, but the voices too. You're no longer stitching together visuals and voiceovers. It's one step. Then they introduce Flow, a filmmaking tool built for creators that combines Veo, Imagen, and Gemini. Imagine telling an AI, create a Pixar style short about a robot learning music in Tokyo and getting back a coherent, high quality scene with characters, dialogue, and camera movement all directed by your prompt. This isn't just TikTok content. This could reshape indie film production, YouTube content, and even ad campaigns. Gemini Live and Canvas. Let's not forget Gemini Live and Canvas. Gemini Live now supports screen and camera sharing, which makes it a serious productivity assistant. Whether you're prepping for a podcast, running a webinar, or planning content, it can now watch what you're doing and help in real time. Canvas, on the other hand, takes your research or raw notes and turns them into usable assets. Think infographics, quizzes, or even podcast scripts in over 40 languages. This is already saving me hours on client work and video prep, and soon it'll connect directly to Google Drive and Gmail, which just makes it even more powerful. 
Notebook LM updates. Notebook LM got a serious upgrade too. You can now upload your documents, connect your Google Drive, and let Gemini generate detailed research reports based on your files. I used it to analyze a competitor's case study, cross-reference it with market trend data I had stored in Drive, and it spit out a five-minute strategy outline. It felt like having a dedicated junior marketer on staff. This isn't hypothetical. This is available right now, and it's a must-use if you do any kind of writing, planning, or content research. Google Beam and AI video calls. Let's quickly talk about Google Beam. Beam turns regular video calls into 3D, almost in the room experiences. It uses six cameras to build a 3D render of you and displays it on a light field screen. It's not mass market yet, but the fact that HP is building devices for it means this isn't some vaporware. For remote teams or high touch client calls, this could change the game. And they're adding real-time translation in Meet that mimics your tone and expression. I mean, imagine closing international deals with zero language barrier and no awkward voiceovers, personalization, and privacy. Now, with all this new capability, there's one thing Google emphasized. Personal context is opt-in. You can decide whether Gemini accesses your Gmail, calendar, or docs. They're promising transparency and control. Is it perfect? Probably not, but it's a step in the right direction. If you're using AI tools daily, privacy control is no longer optional. It's mission critical. So here's my takeaway. Google isn't just throwing more features at the wall. They're building an AI ecosystem, something that works across search, video, coding, meetings, personal productivity, and content creation. And if you're in marketing, tech, or entrepreneurship, you need to be paying attention to how these tools can actually be applied. What are you most excited to try? Is it VO3 for video, agent mode in Gemini, or AI mode in search? Drop a comment below and let me know. And if you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this with someone who's trying to make sense of all the AI updates happening right now. The future isn't coming, it's already here. Let's build something real with it. 